In this video, I'm gonna be going through the from publisher operator. Now, uh, this operator is really cool and it's a new feature that was introduced in Rx Java 2. This didn't exist in Rx Java 1. Uh, but essentially, uh, it, it works with the MVVM. It's meant to work with the MVVM architecture and live data, which as you all know, is my favorite architecture. So naturally, I like this operator. I like what it does. So now, uh, so what does it do? The from publisher operator is used to convert live data objects into reactive streams, or in other words, into observables, basically, or from reactive streams to live data, which is from observables to live data. So as I say in the description here, more than likely, you are not going to use it to uh, convert live data into observables. More than likely, that's not going to be the I just can't see uh, a lot of use cases for that. But um, what I do see happening is maybe you are using Rx to do something. Maybe you're applying some operators. And then you want to convert that observable into live data and feed it into your view model and then back into your activity or your fragment or whatever. That I think is a, is a very practical use case. So converting it from an observable to live data I think is, is a very practical use case. And that's what I'm gonna show you in, in the example in this video. So I expect you to, uh, number one, this is not like a beginner uh, example for sure. I am expecting you to know a lot of things. You know, I gotta know how to use retrofit. You gotta know how to use the MVVM architecture. You gotta know how to use view models, live data, observables, all that kind of stuff. So because this isn't a, like a beginner example, I'm gonna be going through this quite quickly. But the article that I wrote, the lecture that I wrote is very detailed, the uh, From Publisher article here. So uh, if you want like a detailed look at it, just take a look at that. But uh, I'm gonna be going through the video example pretty quickly. So number one is you need internet permissions, obviously, because we're using retrofit. And uh, now number two is we're gonna come down to the, to the dependencies. The first dependency that I'm highlighting here is the uh, the Rx Java call adapter dependency, and you need this one because we're using retrofit and we're going to be returning uh, actually a flowable object, which is a type of of, of observable, uh, instead of a retrofit call object. So we need that uh, that call adapter to adapt the retrofit requests so that they don't return call objects. They instead will be able to return observables and flowables. So that's the uh, the first dependency that I want to highlight there. Now the second one is for actually doing the conversions of observables to live data or live data to live data to observables. Now um, this actually needs a, an extra dependency for this. It's not just the default Rx Rx Java dependency. Uh, you need the reactive streams dependency. You can get the most recent version here from this link, but I have the dependency right here. And here's just kind of a snapshot of my build dot gradle uh, when I made this example so if you copy all these things you should be good to go with his with this example next is the request api class so this is the retrofit request uh, class the interface for actually making the the queries i'm going to be querying the uh, json placeholder uh, practice api which is this website right here and specifically i'm going to be making a query to the two dos slash one so this is what I want to return in this example. Just a, you know, it's a list of two dos, and I'm looking at uh, the one with ID equals one. So it's just like a, some some dummy data, basically. So uh, so that's going to return a flowable object. That's what I want you to notice here. And as I said at the beginning of this video, the flowable object is something new to Rx Java two. It's uh, I sh I haven't made a lecture on it at this point, but I'm right after this video or after I film a couple more couple more videos, I'm going to be making a lecture on flowables and back pressure and all that stuff. So uh, check out those lectures if you don't know what it, it what that stuff is. Uh, in this video, I'm not going to talk too much about it. Just notice that it does return a flowable. So I'm, I'm making a retrofit request and I'm returning a flowable. Next is the service generator class. So if you're familiar with my courses, my content, you know that I always like to put my retrofit instance, my retrofit builder inside of a service generator class. Basically, this is just all the properties for the retrofit instance, passing the base URL, which is the JSON placeholder, the call adapter. So this is the Rx Java 2 call adapter, which is from uh, this dependency that I, I mentioned right here. And uh, we have the uh, JSON converter for converting the, uh, the JSON converting Java objects to JSON objects or the other way around, and then the API for making the request. 
Uh, next is the repository. We're using MVVM architecture, as I said. So because there is MVVM architecture, proper MVVM architecture requires a repository. So I have a repository. So what's inside of this repository? Well, I have a, uh, the, a singleton pattern being implemented, obviously, because that's the best practice way to do it. And then I have a single method named uh, make reactive query, which notice it returns live data. So I'm calling live data reactive streams, the class live data reactive streams. This is only available with the dependency that I mentioned up here, the reactive stream dependency. So that's where that's coming from. Uh, I'm calling from publisher. It only has two methods. So if I open up Android Studio, I go into the repository. Uh, the, re the live data reactive streams class only has two methods, from publisher or to publisher. From, pu from publisher will convert a flowable into live data. Uh, to publisher will convert live data into a flowable. So that, that is that from publisher method. And uh, then I'm calling make query to return that flowable. So service generator, get request API, make query, query. That's going to return that flowable object. Uh, and then finally, uh, I am, oh, I'm, uh, I'm subscribing on a background thread to make sure that all this work is done on a background thread. And then I'm returning live data here. So this is converting this whole process to live data. And the next thing is the view model then, of course. And inside of our view model, we have MVVM architecture. We have our repository instance. And uh, the only method here is called make query, which is calling repository make reactive query, which is this method right here. And it's returning live data. So then that's going to feed that live data back to our main thread, which is observing uh, that, uh, that query. And you'll get the response from the server. So there's kind of the log output that you expect to see. I have all this code already in Android Studio. You know, there's our task class, which I may have not done properly. That's okay. I'm just going to run it and see what happens. Um, the request API, the service generator, the repository from Reactive Streams, the view model, and then inside the activity, uh, creating the view model, uh, making the query, observing it and we should get a response returned from the server. So let's run that and see if we get the response that we expect. It should work. If it didn't, I just forgot to do something and I'll fix it quickly. So there's the response from the server and we're good to go. So that's converting a, that's, that's using retrofit to return a flowable object from a query and then, uh, and then converting that flowable object into live data. And I, I can definitely see that being useful, you know, if you took my local database cache course on my website, I'll just uh, show you it quickly if you haven't. So if you go to my website, go to courses, I have a local database cache course, which is this one right here. If you're familiar with this, if you took this course, you know that we we did all this stuff, but we didn't use Rx. We used, um, we used live data pretty much for the whole thing. But if you wanted to kind of, you know, I could see how you, you might want to use the the rx operators in certain ways in this course to maybe sort data do things to it and then maybe you still want to convert it back to live data and return it to the ui so these uh these this reactive streams thing the from from publisher method could be quite useful so that's it for this video uh in the next video i'm going to do something else work on filters so we're now we're now done with the create operators we've looked at all these different operators that create observables now we're ready to move on to the filtering operators which as you might have guessed will filter observables so they're going to either take the lists and make them smaller based on filters or take certain ones leave out certain ones all that kind of stuff i'll see you in the next video